There's a lot of lobbying for changing guidelines to make the guidelines more confusing. The example you gave in your book, and I'm paraphrasing here, but it was like 1980 guideline, limit your intake of sugar, right? Pretty simple. 1990 guideline, hey, try not to get more than 10% of your calories from sugar. <laughs> 2010 guideline, select beverages and foods that will allow you to moderate your consumption of sugar or sugarized beverages that contain sugar. And it's like, are they doing... This confuses me, right? Are they doing this on purpose so we don't have an obvious statement just showing us that sugar is unhealthy? Or is this the lawyer in me reading into this too much? Well, I think what happened over, first of all, the guidelines have gotten much more complicated. They used to be this little pamphlet, and now there are 150, 60 pages of, you know, you go online and you're on the web forever to go through them. Um, the... Uh, so I think that it's a trend in nutrition to make it more complicated, more obfuscating. Um, and part of that comes about because government agencies cannot say, eat less meat, eat less sugar, um, don't eat snack foods because they've got too much salt in it. You, they can't do that um, because the makers of those foods go right to Congress and say, hey, we're going to lose jobs. Right. We're going to close down our business. This is bad for business. We're going to lose jobs. Um, the jobs are going to be lost in your state. Uh, and, Not good. Yeah. You know, and and so uh, the um, the government agencies have sort of, and the people who go on these committees have sort of internalized euphemisms. And so the idea is, if you say eat less salt, sugar, and saturated fat, everybody knows or is supposed to know that the main sources of salt are snack foods and fast foods, the main sources of sugar are sugary drinks, and the main source of saturated fat is beef. Um, so it's euphemisms, nu nutrients, and, and I've always said that when the dietary guidelines talk about what you're supposed to eat more of, they talk about fruits, vegetables, grains, foods. When, they're, when they talk about what you're supposed to eat less of, they switch to nutrients. Yeah, interesting. That's interesting. Because it's politically less fraught. Right. So your point, I'll paraphrase here just in case I, I misunderstood, but we eat foods not nutrients, right? So it's not mm -hmm. only fat or only sugar or only trans fat that's causing problems. It's the amount of what we're eating, the type of food we're eating, ultra processed, whatever it might be. But it's easy for food companies to say, hey, it's this nutrient that it's, that's a problem, not the fact that the beef that I'm telling you to buy right now is loaded with it. Yeah, we'll take a gram of sugar out and put it uh, in, in some artificial sweetener and we can advertise it as low calorie, low sugar.